Ryan Cole, thanks for taking the time. A huge meet this weekend, the Nutty Comb Invitational. It's become one of the, the best in the country every year. Um, just give me what you've told your team going into this. Well, it's a bit of a national preview. So you get in there, it's uh, it's on a course that's hosted the national championships. It will host the national championships again in the near future for some of the um, future returners on the team. So it's good experience for them. Uh, but it also, it's a, it's a critical weekend for um, national qualifying. So you get a lot of teams from all over the country. Usually the, the best teams in the country are there. Uh, and so you get to go head to head and hopefully accumulate some wins. And then as the championship season plays out with regional qualifying, you see how those teams go back to the regions and how they do and hopefully you've accumulated enough wins against those teams that you advance your team to the national championships so yeah you have teams from all across the country that come together for this meet and and really with that purpose of getting prepared for the national meet and doing their best to state their case or build their resume to qualify for the national meet so uh, we've been in this situation before it's a kind of a weekend on the schedule that you circle so you know it's coming uh, we have a lot of returners that have experienced the race before on both the men's and the women's side so that that should help us uh, but it's also, again, it's another opportunity of going against the best people in our sport all across the NCA, seeing how you stack up and getting to measure yourself that way. So it's kind of what you come to practice for every day. Let's go ladies first. Um, what do you want to see from your team? Obviously, they're not as ranked as highly as the men, but uh, you've got some competitors there. Yeah, I think on the women's side, getting to Virginia, it was a very competitive field, a pretty big field. It won't be quite as big as Wisconsin, but for the first big race of the year, um, it kind of helps get reacclimated to sort of that chaos that's out there. You know, a lot of bodies, you have to maintain your composure, continue competing, and, and run your race. So hopefully that helps us going into Wisconsin. But I think for the women, uh, people like Hallie, you know, she's run this race before very well last year she she knows the dynamic of it uh, I think when you haven't run the race before maybe haven't run as well as you wanted the best thing you can do is get yourself very very fit so you can just go out and run really fast uh, we have some women like Terry Toller who are in great shape so I think she's ready to go out and take a nice step uh, and then freshmen like Anna Harden and Michaela Workman who are going to be keys for us not just this year but down the road uh, but they're also coming along as they continue to build fitness in the season so I think our women can go and compete really well but it, it's also going to be a challenge against yourself right sure. because there's a lot of opportunity when you're just in a sea of people and you look up and you may not be able to see the front you don't know how many people are behind you uh, and you start to have some uh, varying thoughts right <laughs> things that aren't always constructive or productive for you to continue to perform your best so it's also an opportunity for them to engage with themselves and be able to stay locked into things that are going to help them not just for 23 minutes you know running around in Madison this Friday uh, but for future years and future races so that that's we're, we're trying to get a few different things out of this weekend for the women for the men uh, last year your team took kind of a big step at this meet do you expect the same thing going in this time we're just going to go in and, and try to compete again as, as best we can but also working on those things that we need to do to get better as a team uh, the Virginia field again was a competitive field it was a big field but not as big as this one so for the guys to be able to find each other uh, uh, with more bodies out there, with a bit more competitive density uh, when you look at the number of teams that are highly ranked in this meet. Uh, I think that'll be a great uh, sort of dress rehearsal for us, um, hopefully as we get back to the national meet and want to be ex able to execute a similar race in, in that field. So it, it's a good dry run. Uh, it serves a lot of different purposes, but at the end of the day, it's also just lining you know 300 of the best people in the country up, shooting the gun and seeing who's the fastest. And that's kind of when you boil down our sport, You know, it's kind of looking at the person next to you and saying, hey, do you want to race? and see who's fastest and it's kind of fun absolutely should be a lot of fun ryan thanks for the time good luck at the nutty cold thank you appreciate it